So apparently, fellas, we haven't done a Pokemon card collection video in a while. Like, every single comment I'm reading is like, and oh, you gotta do one. It's seriously, it's been too long. My flippin' arm's falling off. And I'm like, why is your arm falling off like six times this week? But you're right, we haven't done one in a hot minute. Usually I do these collection videos at the start of the year to document my collection. Because if you go back and watch last year's, you can see how much it's like shrunk, grown. If I've given away a lot of cards, usually it shrinks a bit. But uh, if, yeah, if I've like opened a lot more booster boxes, which I feel like I did this year, it could have grown. So yeah, I thought, let's do it. Let's whip the camera out. Let's start to lay out all those EX and GX. It's always a like two day task, but it's all good. I love making this video. So if you guys like them as well, demolish the like button. It always helps me uh, see what you guys are really enjoying. Subscribe to the channel. That always helps out a bunch. But without further ado, you guys may remember the Covetant Red Binder. Yeah, this thing right here, it's got all the, uh, look, look at this. Let me just, let me just tempt you with the first page and uh, so yeah, we're gonna open that one. We're gonna have a look inside, see what we can find, and uh, without further ado, let's do Ando's Pokemon Card 2018 Collection. So pretty much as my Pokemon Card Collection sort of begins, uh, I guess I can start with this wall up here. Nothing too crazy. I mean, this is all pretty stock standard. We got everything, all the Pikachus, the plush ones have been sent on Monday up there. A couple of like Pikachu uh, Pokemon Center hats. We got a mountain load back here. Like I didn't even want to know. I think we counted out once, maybe like 72 Pikachus. Slash, uh, now it's probably more. There's a couple of exclusives. Really amazing fan art at the back. We got soundproofing up there if everyone's always asking. And, uh, and yeah, you know, stock standard. Obviously, he has to have dance hats because you just can't have a regular Pikachu. You could have a fabulous Pikachu. I mean, look at those snazzy buggers. But then basically, uh, I think this is more of a car collection video, or at least that's what you guys were really requesting. So we're gonna start with my Ultra Pro binder and then we're going on to the juicy. Uh, the thumbnail of the video, the absolute crazy snake of EX and GX cards. But anyway, this is a really, like, this is, in my opinion, the best stuff. But, uh, and still, that's pretty cool. Anyway, so we start here. If you guys haven't seen this before, I'm going to go over it. Uh, once again, we've got the golden cards. Now, these bad boys, I'm going to try and put a shadow on it so you can actually see them because they're literally pure gold. Super difficult to try and see, but I guess when it's in the shadow, you can see the Zekrom right there. Then you can see the Reshiram right here. You can sort of see the outline. Then you can see the uh, Zekrom. I've actually got, how many have I got? Oh damn, I've actually got a few. All right, I've got uh, two, four, six, seven. Yeah, I think that's about right, seven. Gee, I didn't really think I had seven of them. Anyway, all right, so we've got seven gold cards here. The only two are the Zekrom and Reshiram. These things are worth about $300 or $250 each right now. So, you know, if YouTube sort of fails, I could probably sell this and live on the street for a while. This one right here, Dialga EX uh, Full Silver actually apparently goes for a mountain load now, which I didn't even realize. Like, yeah, I, I, well, I can't remember how much it is though, but it's, a, it's more than the gold card, I know that much, which is pretty crazy. The Japan one goes for even more, which hopefully is in here somewhere. Okay, then we've got the new gold cards, the Solgalu Lunala, which we did get sent Mal Monday. Rainbow Red Charizard. These are pretty much the ultra expensive cards. So, uh, Shining Gyarados, red one. I was obsessed with this card and then I pulled it. And uh, yeah, oh, it's really cool. These are all like really textured as well. All my cosplay Pikachu cards, I love these. I think you guys do as well. Uh, obviously the Charizards, got Magikarp Gyarados. Basically when a new Pokemon Center opens in Japan, they give those out. Then we've got a couple of uh, Mag... What are these? No, they're Battle Festa. These ones are the Battle Festa cards. So there's a tournament and uh, a really, really small amount of these get printed every year. The artwork on them is always crazy. This came with the 15th. Is it? Maybe it's 15th. I think it's the 15th anniversary box or 20th. I think it's gonna be. I think it's 15th. Um, so yeah, that came with like one of those anniversary boxes, not for sale anymore. And now that's worth an ultra load, like so much money. So now we get into more generic uh, full art cards. If I can uh, focus this one up, I'm gonna go over it pretty quick. Feel free to pause the video if you want to. This one, that's so shiny, guys. Like the color is unreal. I don't know if you can see it in the light, but. I don't really want to get these ones out because uh, I don't want to mess these ones up at all. Got a uh, prime. Look, these ones are as well. Like, they don't sell for much, but the flipping color scheme. Thunderous, obviously. I've got a stack of Thunderous. So many. Thunderous again. Charizard. Required. Like, these ones are nuts. Obviously, the two uh, silver cigarettes. Or are they cigarettes? No, this is the two full up birds out of the, uh, oh, what was it? That set a while ago. I forget its name now. I've just blanked. Uh, Diaga, obviously. Again with the uh, Zapdos. Every, because there's only two full ups in that whole set. Umbreon, got Mega Rayquaza. That's another banger. 
Um, Yeraquaza, Kyogre. That is nuts. Look at that. I can feel it through the flipping page as well. Professor Sycamore. Absolutely amazing. Golden uh, Alakazam. Thunderous. This one's really, really cool. I think they actually came in one of those boxes, actually. Like, it's not too rare. I just thought it was really awesome. So, for Dewey, these two cards. Now, I haven't checked the price in these uh, in ages, but I reckon it would be a fair bit now. They came in that massive collection last year. Then these two, because the new promo, I um, mean, the new Pokemon Center opened up. So, we've got these two. Shining and regular. Uh, Golden Dragonite. Obviously, Mario Luigi combo. Look at that. They sort of join up artworks, too. Oh my gosh, all this gold. Look how many... Oh, this, one's, this one came with the illustrated book. Really, really nice card too. What else we got here? Zap... I mean, not Zapdos. Lapras, Lunala. Right, this is where the rainbow rares start to kick in. But the binder ran out of pages, so I couldn't really fill it up. Um, let me flip it around. And the final page is Umbreon. Uh, another promo Pikachu. Skull version, that one. And Skull. Team Skull Grunt card. And Mega Pidgeot. So yeah, that's my whole binder, and uh, it was sent to me from Team Booster Break, which is pretty cool. And that is my Ultra Pro binder right there, but let's have a look at my Mega EX GX Break and that Wizband collection, because that one is a huge one. So fellas, the rest of the EX GX and Holo cards. Now, where could they possibly... Oh, uh, that, yep, okay, this, all right, uh, and they crawl around the edges. That's exactly where they've gone. I literally built a, a flipping boardwalk of Pokemon EX and Hollow and all that cards. All right, I'm gonna start from the other end, work our way back up because they're all facing the other way. But uh, yeah, let's let's try and do this. I got no idea. Oh god, we're gonna try and oh. Yeah. So pretty much, I thought let's start right here. We've pretty much got a lot of Radiant Collection. I don't know how many of you guys remember Radiant Collection, but it was one of the first sets that I started on. It's a Valentine's Day edition, and uh, had a whole bunch of those Mews right there, like literally a whole bunch. Uh, what else? We had those Meloettas, the Emolgas, uh, the Shamans as well, and the Reshirams. So those are all part of the, uh, the collection, and there were so many. It was the first time ever Pokemon had given out more than, like, one crazy full up per box, and when they were slowly getting introduced. Now, we have got mixed into this, like, the really rare English sort of holo cards out of Gym Heroes, or a, uh, Secret Rare Alakazam as well. And just, you know, like, uh, stuff of, uh, Furious Fist and all that, like, uh, Fossil Researcher, Tornadus, uh, Tornadus is actually by himself of Noble Victories. Ancient Mew, of course, that's gonna get so many questions, it's not actually worth too much money, hence why I have got a lot of them. If they're worth, like, as much as everyone says, like, a thousand dollars each, I'd probably sell them and, uh, buy a Lamborghini or something, but no, nah, they're only, like, seven bucks each. Anyway, let's keep it moving. So, up here, a lot more of those rating collections, you're gonna see a whole bunch of those, just because uh, they're only worth like a dollar fifty, and everyone sends them to me. All right, next up, okay. This is where it's getting tricky to film. Um, so yeah, these are just a lot of different EX cards, I guess, I've got through Mal Monday, or like uh, I've collected individually myself. Nothing too out of this world. I mean, as we come up here, we have got the half art cards off gold and silver. Really, really cool lot. I love those uh, half arts. The artwork is spectacular. We've got a lot of full art cards here and uh, level X's. I think the primes are... Uh, where are the primes at? Primes are around here somewhere as well. You probably see them creep into camera. But there's just so many like different Pokemon cards here, guys. And look at all these like new promos I've been sent as well. Okay, so I managed to leave to the other side without breaking my back. But uh, some of these really, really cool holo uh, training cards. And we've got a pre-release Misty Cedra there as well. De a couple of Delta species here and there. You can pause the video. This is off a really rare set that I absolutely love to pieces. Oh, look. Literally, I nearly cried when I found this. So much nostalgia. This is a kid-drawn magazine promo for a Pikachu movie, like, way, way, way back in the day. I got it from Japan. It's so rare, but it's so sick. Love that card. Then we got like uh, Mario Luigi right there, the uh, Pikachu promo, a couple of those uh, old school pseudo super rare. Look at the, these are getting like the ultra rare stage. We've got a couple Charizards there. Um, yeah, just look at this shining white Gengar, Mega Gengar, EX. And then I guess as we keep coming up, like more of those, a lot of those like rare Charizards, Mega Mega, mega Metagrosses, what a fucking mouthful to say. Got the uh, Snorlax hollow up there, Pikachu. Um, yeah, I guess we'll keep walking up the collection. Got a, oh, look at this. These two are the, I just remember pulling this one because the artwork is insane. 
Full Art Venusaur, Mega Venusaur EX. Got the Charizard as well. Um, oh, here we go. Here's the uh, the Primes and Level Xs. So many of them. Artwork is wild though, like I rate every single one. Level Xs as well. So yeah, they look like they split into two Thunderous Full Art, you know, just here and there. I don't know, these are the cards I haven't really saw down ages. Uh, I keep them in sets, so I try to keep them in sets, but <laughs> as you guys saw, the Prime level X's get a bit mixed up. Um, and then we got a couple more here and there. These are like the EX cards or the GX cards. Feel free to like pause the video, guys. I completely understand. But uh, yeah, these are, I don't know, these are getting more of the rare cards, like the Blaine's Charizard right there. And then up the top here, I keep a lot of my like Charizards and I keep my uh, like Ultra Red Golbats. What else we got? Cigarette Rotom decks, E Series Hollows, like I keep those close to my heart as well. Um, yeah, just a lot of like super pretty rare cards, but nothing like mind blowing. Except the flipping like how far it goes back. <laughs> this is nuts. Oh my gosh. But yeah guys, that pretty much wraps up a uh, majority of my Pokemon card collection. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, there's probably a lot more around the house that I forget where it is. And uh, I'll walk downstairs and find it like tonight or tomorrow or something. So that's not my entire thing, but that's that's a good majority that I can find and show you guys. So what do you guys think? Is your is your Pokemon card collection better? Maybe. Leave a comment, let me know if it is. And uh, I'm, su I'm super keen to read all those comments. But uh, have a fantastic day. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And most of all, you get to keep on gaming. Alright guys, next collection video next year. I'll see you then!